Google Hangouts is going away. In fact, chances are, as you're watching this, it may already be gone. So that leads us to the question for those of us that have relied on Google Hangouts, what do we do now? Well, I may have the answer for you. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, Matt Creators, to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And when we do that, sometimes we live stream that. We get together with some of our friends, and I do this on a weekly basis. I've got a live streaming show that I do every week on YouTube called The Art Casters. I do that with some friends of mine. Uh, and we do that through, or we have been doing that through Google Hangouts. So imagine my surprise when uh, Google sent a notification that they are ending Hangouts, that it is going to be gone and it didn't seem like they had a replacement for it and uh, as of recording this I don't think they do so what are we gonna do well I have discovered something that I think may do the trick now there are a lot of streaming options out there some of them are a little complicated some of them have a premium cost associated with them and you know some of them are difficult to set up but I think I found that the, the thing I really loved about Google Hangouts is it was so easy especially when you're bringing on guests that may not be so technically savvy or anything like that uh, so I was having a hard time finding something and then uh, some friends of mine we got together and we discovered something called StreamYard and I think it's going to be the perfect replacement at least for me I think maybe for you but let me show you how it works and you can decide for yourself Okay, so this is StreamYard. If you're like me and you are a former Hangout user, Google Hangouts, uh, this may be your best option. The great thing about Hangouts was it was super simple and it didn't take much setup or anything. Easy to get people on. Most people have Google. The good thing about this is it is all web-based. So if you have a browser and a webcam, all you need is a link and you can get anyone on. So that is super cool. Right now it's in beta. Um, so who knows what this, you know, this platform is going to become. So maybe get in on it early. That's what I'm going to do. But it seems perfect for me. Now before we test this out, I want to kind of show you some of the different features for the different plans. Uh, pricing. So here we go. So we've got your free plan, your basic plan, your professional plan. Uh, I'm thinking of probably upgrading to the basic plan, but let's just see the difference here. So uh, with the free plan, you get a lot. You know, you get six on-screen participants. I know I've never had more than six on any of the uh, streams that I've done. Screen sharing, which is awesome, uh, and most of, pretty much everything that, that Google Hangouts had, and and maybe more actually. Um, banners, on-screen comments brand color so you can change colors and everything you will still get their watermark on you know on the free plan it'll say stream it'll say uh, stream yard on it let's see uh, uh, stri yeah okay so stream yard branding right there and broadcast limits but right now and this could change but right now I click on this little question mark it says currently broadcast are not limited limits may be introduced at a future date so that's really good at least to get started you know who knows if they're going to start adding limits but for in the beginning you know I think they're wanting to get more people on so even with this free one um, I think uh, I think that's gonna be a good thing and, and hopefully that'll continue for a little bit because I think I'm gonna start off with the free version and then hopefully move on to uh, this basic version which will eliminate you know it's gonna get rid of you know you're gonna be able to put your own custom logos uh, backgrounds all that kind of stuff and that's really cool and then I guess the professionals has extra uh, customer support um, but it seems pretty basic it doesn't seem like they're you're gonna need all it's very user-friendly which is really cool all right let's get started first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and add my email address in here they're gonna send me a six-digit code which I will log in right now all right so I've entered my code and I get this little onward message so let's click on that and see what's gonna happen all right so we've this is what's really cool so you can stream to Facebook you can stream to YouTube Periscope uh, I think this uh, RTMP basically means you can stream to anywhere and then restream and I think somewhere it said that you can stream up to, you can stream up to like 30 places at once I don't even know 30 places uh, um, I might have to check on that but that's I think I heard that somewhere so that's pretty cool but but if I if we can like stream uh, the show that I do art casters simultaneously on Facebook and YouTube that would be pretty cool and I think you can even 
integrate the chats and this may be a, a feature in the pro version or the paid version uh, but I thought I heard somewhere that you can get all the chat in once one like uh, like the Facebook and the YouTube will integrate in one place which sounds pretty cool again I'll have to look in on that but anyway so uh, right now I'm just signing up I this would be the free version you can upgrade I think it's uh, $20 a month if you pay annually. I think it's $25 if you pay monthly. Um, right now, the Artcaster, we're not making any money off the Artcasters, so I, I'll have to... I have to see if that's something I want to do, but man, I you know the the paid version looks pretty sweet. It's got a few things that uh, if you're not super big on aesthetics, it's probably not going to matter. Um, but you are going to get a little watermark and everything. So first, let me go. Let me see if I can go back here. So I'm going to probably enter my YouTube information, and then we'll get back to the main page. Okay, now I have connected my YouTube channel. Uh, I probably should have just filmed that process. It was pretty basic. I didn't even have to go in. I didn't have to do like a stream key or anything yet. I don't know if I, I will need to do that later, probably. But for right now, it's uh, it's all connected and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna see what happens here if I click on this create a broadcast. Um, now, I don't want this to be public because I'm just testing things out. So let's see, let's go testing not posted. All right, uh, I'm just gonna give this uh, Let's see, test one. All right, so let's create a broadcast. We're gonna see what happens here. Enter broadcast studio. So now I'm gonna click on that. And we are entering broadcast studio. We've entered the broadcast studio. So right here, we're checking our mic. You can see it going up and down, check, check. So that is working. Uh, let's see, so we, we click on settings. Uh, we've got the camera, you know, camera resolution, all this, all this technical stuff here, if we wanna check that out. So that's all right there. Let's first enter the broadcast studio. I'm trying to find out where we can uh, invite people. So let's do that. Uh, this one is not posted. Uh, let's see, settings, screen, invite. So right here we click on that. And we just, once we click on invite, we've got a link here. We just copy that to our clipboard and we can send that to whoever will want to join the uh, broadcast. So very, I mean, everything here is super, super simple. Uh, if we have more people, well here, we're, uh, Right now we're not on yet, so let's see. We're gonna click to add ourselves to the stream. There we go. And uh, right now we've only got one person, myself, but if we want to add additional people, uh, then we can do a lot of things. There's, you can see all, there, again, it's not gonna do anything, but there's different orientations for the way the videos show up and everything. So as you can see right up here, we've got, you know, you're gonna have their branding here with the free version, but we do, we are able to put, uh, you know, our, you know, we can put probably our name. I guess that's how you sign in, because when, you know, when I tested this before uh, as a, just a participant, not somebody who's kind of running this show, um, I, yeah, I just entered, I think I put CircWorks and that's what showed up there. So whatever, when you're first signing in, whatever you add, that's what's gonna show up there. Let's see, up here, I'm noticing this is a test broadcast. If I, broadcast, if I wanted to go live, I would just click this go live, I assume. Um, but here, what else we got? We've got banners. We're gonna add a banner. Let's just, uh, let's gonna say, we're gonna go live here. And then uh, we're just gonna add that banner. Oh. So we're live, so that, that's cool. And I've also done some, I, you can, like, you can, if you've got guests and everything on, if you wanna put their social media thing, uh, once, you know, on the, the way we do it in our cast is we introduce every, everyone and they give their links, but it's just a matter of, we can add this stuff in and when they're when we're ready to roll, we can just go ahead and click, click on, you know, URLs. Now this is a private chat, so if we're talking amongst just the participants in the, um, I want to say Hangouts, but we're not doing Hangouts, so in, uh, in StreamYard we can do that. And, uh, and here's some branding things. We can change a few things. If I go to, you know, if I go to hide the StreamYard thing, it's going to probably tell me that I need to upgrade. Yep, so if we want to do that, we can upgrade. Uh, but there are, here's, a, so we can go a little more minimal or that's the default, it's a little bit bigger. Um, you've got overlays, so that of course is branded with their um, overlay, StreamYard's overlay. Um, if we wanted to upload our own right here, that's gonna probably tell us we need to, yep, so we need to upgrade for that. But, you know, that's cool. I mean, as long as you don't mind, uh, I don't know, can I click out on it? And I can change the color. Let's see, let's, if I just wanna change it to sort of a, 
you know, I like that lime green, so we can do that. That's <laughs> but, you know, this logo, it's a little intrusive, but, you know, you're using their software for free at this point. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good branding for them. Um, and, you know, if you want to upgrade, we can take that out and everything. And Google, even Google Hangouts does have the little Hangout thing. It's, it's like I said, it's not as intrusive as, as this is. But, you know, uh, you know, I don't mind it. We'll, we'll deal with this, you know, we'll deal with this until we kind of make an upgrade. I am going to go ahead and hide their overlay here. So I'm just going to click on that. That's going to make that go away. We're still going to, that's always going to remain there with the, with the free version. But let's go back. I want to show you some cool stuff. So uh, the comments are going to show up right here. So if you're broadcasting to YouTube, Facebook, I think it's all just going to show up here, which is really cool because... Even on, on Google Hangouts, uh, we actually have to have a separate window open and we have to have the YouTube channel basically up on a separate window so we can see that chat. We may not have to do that anymore. This, I think all the chat's going to show up here. And here's the really cool thing. If I go on, I think each one of these will show up as a, a separate person. Um, and if I want, if we want, I think all we have to do is go like that and then their comment is going to show up on the screen. So if we want to call that out so everyone can see uh, who we're talking about and everything in the chat, that is really awesome. And again, I think if we upgrade to pro version, we're going to put our own, we're going to be able to put our own little branding in there. That is really awesome. Or maybe, maybe their icons show up here. I don't know. I, I'm, that might be the case. Like when you're, if you're on YouTube, maybe your YouTube icon pops up here along with your name if you're a commenter. This is super awesome. I mean, this is, this is, you know, this is better than Hangouts actually, to, to be honest. And I was so, I was so upset when I heard that they were getting rid of Hangouts because it was, the, the, that's the one thing, it was just super easy. And I've looked at some other options and some of them have really good quality and everything. I'm not sure as far as the broadcast quality so far on the test we've done. Um, like right now, the lighting here in the studio is not the best, but it just, that that's not the, you know, that I don't think that's the quality of the stream or anything. Um, but yeah, so far everything's really good. I've done some test rooms with some other people and it seemed to go really well, at least on desktop. We tried some people coming in through mobile. That didn't work as well. But if you're on, at least if you're on desktop, it seems like it works really, really well. Um, so yeah, this is just a, just an awesome uh, piece of uh, software, an awesome app. Uh, and uh, like I said, all browser based. You don't need to, you're not gonna need to download anything, which most of the other options we've looked at you do. And when you have a lot of guests coming on, some of them aren't really that technically savvy. Some people don't wanna download a new app or anything. Uh, but all you have to do is send them a link. They click on that link and boom, they're in. And you can, as whoever's running the show, whoever's broadcasting it can uh, determine uh, when to let people on. They're kind of here. There's a, like a little backstage queue right here. Um, and then once you're ready to drop them in, that's really cool. Um, so yeah, this is super cool. And I, from what I understand, when you go live, I haven't, we haven't been totally live, but from what I've heard, when you go live, it's like, boom, it's just like that. So that is StreamYard. If you are looking for something to move on to from, if you're coming from Google Hangouts, I think this is going to do the trick. Uh, yeah, it, it's just super simple. And I think even with the free version, at least right now, I still think it's going to have a lot of features that even Hangouts didn't do. And it's, it's all browser based. I mean, this is this is like the, the perfect solution for me. Um, so uh, if you are interested, I'm going to leave a link. And I believe you get $10 off if you sign up for the paid version. Um, but I'm going to put that in there. Check it out. Um, I, I think this is going to be super awesome. Um, and just uh, if you guys uh, follow us on the Artcasters, you can kind of see how this is going to uh, kind of play out as we start using this thing. And uh, and I think there's, you know, it's in beta. They're going to start rolling out more features and everything so this is gonna be super cool so yeah, like I said link in the description check it out uh, just play around with it play around with the free version see if you like it um, and I think you will if you are a hangout user so yeah uh, super super awesome glad we discovered this all right so like I said there is a link in the description for StreamYard but I want to know in the comments section does this sound like a solution for you are you a Google or were you a Google Hangouts user do you think this might be what you were looking for let me know in the comments section or maybe you have another suggestion I want to hear that too just let me know and I will see you guys later that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at Surfworks on social media do you like making comics then go to surfworks.com 
and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.